right, so if you have been as restless as we have in this quarantine, trying to find ways to keep the kids preoccupied, we came across this website early on last year. This is called Jeopardy Labs. So initially I came across Jeopardy Labs because I had to create a lot of online exercises and um, team building activities with our guys at work. But after doing a lot of research online, genuinely Jeopardy Labs is the easiest tool to use to create a Jeopardy game. Um, it's the most convenient and you can do one for free. So if you click this one, no registration required, you just need your password and you can start building. But honestly, $20 for a lifetime membership and considering how many times we've used this platform, this was something that I decided to personally invest in so I could use it for the office with my kids and for games with family and friends. So we're gonna be stuck doing Zoom for quite some time. So I figured why not spend 20 bucks on it, right? Okay, so as soon as you log in, um, you're going to be able to see whatever past Jeopardy games you've created. So you'll see this one that I created for work and this one is Ramsey's Jeopardy game. So he's 60 years old, he put this all together by himself, which goes to show just how easy it is. And I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to build a new template for one. It's really just as simple as um, following the instructions. So you can add your rows, you can add your columns, it's up to you. The standard is five by five. So five categories and then five um, boxes under each category uh, with all their corresponding points that you can change. So if you want something like maybe 200, 400, 600 and so on, you can go ahead and do that. Um, for our purpose, okay, let's try sample Jeopardy game. And then you can do different categories. So if you want trivia, animals, countries. So whatever you feel like putting together, especially for the kids, um, if you're homeschooling or even just to play, because we use it just to play. So there are a lot of possibilities with this. And the best part is, is that you can do more than one. So we have trivia, animals, countries, movies, and uh, um, what's another songs or music. All right, so once you're done um, with your points, your main title and your categories, you just have to click on any corresponding box for the points. So the standard is that it gets harder as the points get higher, right? So let's say, for example, for countries, you just have to click the box. It will prompt you to input the questions and the answers. It's really that simple. And you can actually format it in any way that you like. The reason why I paid 20 bucks was because I wanted to insert images, videos. This is a really useful tool for that, especially when you want to be a little bit more creative with the questions that you have. And it's really much more effective that way for learning. Okay, so let's say that you want to go full on like Jeopardy format for this. Um, you would type something as the answer. So you would write something like um, the Eiffel Tower is located in this European country. The question is technically the answer. So the standard in Jeopardy is that the correct response must always be in the format of a question. So you would have to have your players um, answer it in a format like um, the Eiffel. Okay, so the question is the Eiffel Tower is located in this European country. So the correct answer would be what is France? Okay, so once you input that, it comes out here. So you can see it immediately. The Eiffel Tower is located in this European country. When you mouse over it, it'll tell you what is France. Now this is only for you. This is only visible to you. I will show you the format of the actual Jeopardy game after you filled in everything. So once you've input all of the questions, um, you're pretty much good to go. And Jeopardy Labs has made this so simple for even kids to do. And this is more than just about parents doing this for their kids, but kids doing it for us. And they will come up with the funniest, the most adorable, fun game for the whole family. So I highly suggest that you give them access to this, let them try to play around with it on their own and let them create their questions themselves. So don't forget to save and finish when you're done. 
back to our account home, um, the Snapple Jeopardy game is here now. You can see it. But obviously, it was kind of skewed because there was only really one question that I input. So this is an example. So Quarantine Jeopardy. So let's say I wanted to play this with my teammates or at the office. Um, we're a lot. We're about 18. So let's just put it into three people per team. So about six, six teams total. Okay. And then you just have to click start. And there you go. In order to fix this or to change this, you simply have to edit it from the back end. All right. And then let's say team one, team two, team three, you can actually change this. So if you want like Ramsey, Eloise, Royce, whatever you want. So this is how you track the points. So let's say pop culture for 400. This is the first name of the child of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, which is Archie, if I'm not mistaken. So let's assume Royce gets the point. The terminal knows that you're in a category for 400 points, pop culture for 400. So as soon as you press um, the plus sign to tell them that, yes, Royce did get the point, it just adds up. So you can reveal the correct response via spacebar or you can just click this. Who is Archie? Good job. And then you press continue or escape to go back. And you'll notice that the answer has been cleared out to tell everyone that no, you cannot choose this option anymore. So it is very easy to use. It's quick, it's easy. Kids can absolutely do it, no questions asked. And to prove my point, this is the Jeopardy game that my son, my six-year-old created on his own with a little help in terms of spelling and grammar by my nine-year-old. But he was the one who put all of this together he chose the categories and he did it all about the things that he loved and it's really cute once you get started but i but a lot of the questions were really funny i was very impressed and i think what's really important is that you just let the kids you know do what they want ask the questions that they want come up with the answers that they want um it's more fun for everyone rather than trying to drill it in that it has to be correct the nice thing about jeopardy labs is that you can do this over and over again let the kids enjoy it because half of the fun, honestly, is them coming up and developing the entire game for adults. So enjoy and good luck. So now we're going to show you how the whole gameplay um, actually went. Okay, guys. So is everyone ready? We're ready. Ready. Okay, let's play Jeopardy. Okay. Somebody chat me in the chat box first. <laughs> Mama first. Okay. Mama is first. What, which, what category do you want and what, and what number? Songs for 500. Songs for 500. Bonus question. Bonus question. Yes, the all-time favorite songs. Song, song of Ramsey. You're team one, okay, Mama. Okay, I'm team one. Is it um, Kick It by NCT? Is that your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. And the answer is? The space bar. Here we go, by <laughs> classic. Of all Maybe time. Is your all-time favorite or your most That's not your all-time favorite, Ram. That's literally like... Your past two week favorite. <laughs> I love Here We Go by Chris Classic. That's a hard question. Worth 500 points. Very good. Dinosaurs for 500. Okay. That's the hardest this one. Dinosaur is not extinct, but it does not exist. The Indominus Bonus Rex. Huh? The Indominus Indom Rex. That's your final answer? Yeah. Steal. I can steal? The Opasaurus. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna answer Obamasaurus. <laughs> it's Obasaurus. Let me turn your volume. Let's go. That was a great question. Yeah, it's the Opasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> I like the answer, Opasaurus. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it makes sense. It does not. He does. He is not extinct, but he does not exist. Man, these questions are hard. <laughs> it feels like the real Jeopardy. Then you guys might as well pick 100 or something else than 500. Characters for 500. Huh? What? 
Characters for 500. This character created the Indominus Rex. Oh, it's so easy. Is it Dr. Wu? That's your final answer? Yeah, final answer. Correct. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> Wait. Okay. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to answer a question about a, a, a dinosaur that does not ex that does not exist? That could be anything. Okay. You have to think the way he does. Yes. Right, Eloise? Random for 500. Random for 500. Okay. Ram's favorite thing to do after dinner. To play among us. That's your final answer? Yeah. I'm Can sorry, Mama. It's still not. That's the same. That's what, what I meant. Yeah, that counts. That counts. Okay, Among okay. The game. Uh, it's tied. Uh, the score is tied. Who wins? <laughs> okay. Not really. It, Among Us really is a game anyway. So it okay. okay. So. TV and movies for 400 points. Cartoon series that Ram has watched over and over again as dinosaurs and six kids that are finding a way out of a jungle. What series is this called? Oh, you're so Arthur. You know exactly what that is. Uh... Impossible, you don't know that. It's something about the camp. Camp Jurassic? Uh, oh, I'm wrong. Okay, my turn. I steal. <laughs> is it Camp Cretaceous? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I forgot. There, 900 points for Papa. Thank you. Dinosaurs for 400. In this dinosaur is what? The one that is always in Jurassic movies. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Correct. Ha! TV and movies for 300. The songs My Shot and Helpless oh. are from a play that Ramsey has watched. What is the name of the play? Is it Hamilton? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so lucky, Papa. Oh, how dare you say that? I'm lucky. Luck. Uh, songs for 400. Let's go. This Christmas song is part Spider Man and part Jingle Bells. You. Is it Spidey Bells? Correct. By? Woo. By Chris Pine. Okay. Your turn, Mama. I'll take characters for 200, my son. This character is from a movie that includes monsters. He is shiny and silver. Can we, we won't know this. It's <laughs> Mecha Godzilla. Correct. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job. Random for 200. This is on the dali. In the movie Bumblebee, who are the enemies? Oh, he's not going to get this. <laughs> he's not going to get this. Wait. Are you searching? How can I search? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Do I have to answer two? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ha. Call a friend. Uh, no friends. Who are the enemies? I'm sure you don't. I want to steal if he doesn't. Ten. Okay. Nine. Eight. Seven. Who are the enemies? Six. One is blue, one is red. <laughs> yes, correct. It's what is one is blue name? and one is red. Two. Wait, wait, two. First letter. No. One. I steal. 
Don't don't press it. Don't press it, Ram. I want to steal. Okay. Can okay. I steal? Yeah. Steal. Drop kick and shatter. Correct. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mama. <laughs> Thanks, Ram. It's still my turn. Uh, dinosaurs for two hundred. This dinosaur has a crest on its head. He has a crest? Stingy mm -hmm. Molo? So, wait, wait. What does the crest look like? Is it like this? Because if it's the crest, you have to explain to me what it means when it's a crest. You mean it's like a hook like that? It's, it's long. No, okay. It's a pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus? Okay, I'm going to yeah. steal it. And it is a parasaurolophus. <laughs> It's okay, Papa. You're winning already. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Songs for 200. Huh? <laughs> I think songs, songs was the <laughs> one of my mom's favorite songs. Yeah, I don't even know why. Actually, I don't, I don't even know the answer. I just have a guess. I'm leaning towards BTS, uh, Dynamite. What's your final answer? Papa, yeah, you're, final wrong. Answer. you're wrong. Wrong. <laughs> That's not one of my favorite songs. What in your like songs? You don't know yourself. I know it's in my likes. I have 50 plus songs on my likes in Spotify. That doesn't mean that they're all my favorite. I put that there for Ramsey. TV's movies, 100. Which movie will be coming out on in March 2021? Godzilla vs. Kong. Correct. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> okay, dinosaurs for 100. This dinosaur can defeat the T-Rex. Is it the Indominus Rex? No. Wait, they it have it? A I'll steal. All right. I know what it is. It's the Spinosaurus. Correct, Mama. Diane, <laughs> 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 what are Ramsey's favorite songs? Who answers? You just answered one of them earlier. You said, um, How come you didn't ask Papa's favorite songs? Back, back, back. That has to be one of them because you said it was like your favorite song all time, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So that better be in your list. Is that in your is that one of them? Yep. Ah <laughs> but that wasn't the one that they met that we mentioned in the other question. What? Why not? No, you got one, but there was another one that wasn't the there was another one that was mentioned in the Jeopardy game. Back to you. And here we go. Correct. Correct. Ah! <laughs> now play the song. Play the song. Okay. Papa wins. You, you guys actually sound pretty disappointed that your dad won. <laughs> yeah. Papa wins. Play. Do I have a prize? No. Great Perfect. job, Brad. Great job. Thank mm -hmm. you.